Republican Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker had a moment of clarity and he confessed to not being very smart during a recent interview with a local newspaper. He was speaking with a USA Today affiliate Savannah Now and here's what he said. I am getting out talking to people and talking to you referring to the media. I'm in a country, I'm a country boy, I'm not that smart. He's a preacher referring to Warnock, his opponent. Warnock is smart and wears these nice suits. So he is going to show up and embarrass me at the debate October 14th. And I'm just waiting to show up and I will do my best. But when asked about why he didn't debate Warnock initially, he actually got pretty defensive. He said, quote, he may not even show up for that one. He has made every excuse not to show up. I begged him until I chased him down and then he decided he was going to show up October 14th. I didn't agree to do his debate because it wasn't fair. A fair debate is doing it in front of the voters and I've agreed. So Jenk, you have an interesting take on his statement there because I think self deprecating comments like that actually do kind of play well with the electorate. But I think you agree, but you have more to say about that. Yeah, so this one's a little bit different because it's so harsh. I'll come back to that in a second. But the general point here is, ironically, this is the smartest thing he's done, saying he's not that smart. So why? Because when you go into a debate, this is called the Palin strategy. When you go into a debate and you think you're outmatched, say it so that it lowers the bar. And in the way that he said it also might get him some sympathy, like, oh, I'm just a country boy, you know, never meaning no harm. And oh golly gee, I wound up in this debate. You know how you wound up there, Herschel? You ran for Senate. So if you run for Senate, you should know policy and you should try to be a little educated, if not smart, right? But it's a trick that works perfectly. And the number one reason that it does, Anna, is because the media is complicit. So the minute he doesn't drool on stage and be like, oh, yeah, right? They're like, oh my God, he didn't fall down on stage. Oh my God, it's a tie. It's a tie, everybody. You know what? It, it's actually pretty genius, right? The trick is, as Bush said, keep expectations low. And I remember that Palin debate. I thought Palin was gonna bomb, and she didn't, right? She did relatively well for Palin. I want to be clear, but yeah, people were expecting her to do so poorly, and she didn't bomb in such a devastating way that it was like, okay, all right, okay, I, we, we see you Palin, you know, you didn't completely embarrass yourself. So I hear you on that point. Um, and look, it's, it's actually true in that even when I'm expecting to debate someone, I might brag about crushing them behind the scenes when I'm talking to Jank or a friend, but publicly I've, I do not talk crap. Like I'm, I'm not a fan of talking crap, right? Just in case, like you don't want to talk yourself up, get people hyped, and then everyone has an off day. Like debates, look, it, it should be about issues, but debates really are about strategy and optics. And if you're not on your A game, it's very easy to get baited into a trap during a debate, right? So. That's something I try to keep in mind ahead of time instead yeah. of like running my mouth before the debate happens. I hear you. And like I said, I think it's a good strategy overall. Uh, but he might have gone a little too far because obviously his consultants told him to do this. Uh, but they can't control how unintelligent he actually is. So he's supposed to say, like, oh, golly gee, I'm, you know, this is the first time I'm running for office. So I'm not good at this. And I'm sure Warnock's they're training with his consultants, et cetera. Instead, he just goes, I'm not that smart. And it's too much, like it's too self deprecating. Uh, he's gonna embarrass me, I don't know what I'm doing. And then he looks like Steve Carell from, you know, from Anchorman. And it's too much, I can't control the volume of my voice. Okay, like it's too much, Re- reel it back in. But he doesn't have the ability to do that because ironically, it's the one true thing he said. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.